Well, 803, as we track the progress of the COVID vaccine distribution in the upstate, today we know hundreds more upstate teachers will roll up their sleeves. That's right. The Pickens County School District will host two clinics today. We reached out to district leaders to better understand their plans for teachers. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle is live at the Greenville Mass Vaccination Clinic with answers on how today will run. Grace? Well, doors just opened up a few minutes ago and people are already inside here at the Greenville Mass Vaccination Clinic getting vaccinated. Now, we're off to the side here because we want to protect people's privacy, so we don't want to show you going inside. But there was a little bit of a line this morning waiting outside when doors opened up. We know that uh, the Pickens County School District says that they expect hundreds of people to come through here today. Teachers, staff, bus drivers, all those different positions. They said in total they have about 2,000 employees. So while they're all trying to get through this vaccine, vaccination process. Students in Pickens County, they have an e-learning day, so they won't have to be going into the classroom today while teachers are working to get vaccinated. We took a look at the district's numbers, and again, there are 2,000 employees altogether, and those wishing to get vaccinated can also go to the Oconee Memorial Hospital. The district covers more than 500 square miles, so they wanted to give people options. Now, if teachers or staff want to come in and get vaccinated, the good news is they don't have to have an appointment. This is going to be a a walk-in clinic for district employees, and we got a breakdown of their schedule. Spokesperson John Evie says they've set aside two-hour blocks for four different groups based on last names. At the end of the day, there's a makeup period for anyone who missed their slot. We think it's going to be pretty orderly. We don't think there are going to be long lines, hoping there aren't. Um, although, hey, if there are, it's a good problem to have because it means a lot of people are wanting to be vaccinated, um, and that's what we need to get back to normal. Now let's talk about that second dose. The district tells us they have that clinic covered. That's going to be on April 16th, and students will once again have an e-learning day then as well. Now coming up in the next 30 minutes, we're going to walk you through how many teachers and staff members the district thinks are actually going to show up today. That's all coming up in the next 30 minutes. Back to you.